Are you ready to take the 4-H EcoBot Challenge? As part of 4-H National Youth Science Day, we'll be exploring how robots can be used to protect the environment. So grab your engineering notebook and let's get started! Bailey Beach was the site of a toxic spill when an old barrel storing dangerous materials rusted through and spilled onto the beach. There is concern that the spill will continue to move out into the water and pose a danger to fish and plant life. 4-Hers, it's up to you to build a new robot called an EcoBot to help clean up Bailey Beach. Let's get started! Step 1. Build your EcoBot. Start by preparing your materials. Here are the materials you'll need. One Oral-B Cross-Action Pro Health Manual Toothbrush. A 10mm pager vibrating motor. A 3cm and a 1cm piece of foam mounting double-sided tape and a LR44 1.5 volt button cell watch battery. Have an adult help you remove the arm of your toothbrush so that only the part with bristles remains. Then strip the insulation on the red and black wires of the motor by 0.5 centimeters. Now it's time to start building. Remove the backing from one side of the 3 centimeter piece of foam tape and stick it on the flat side of the toothbrush head. Now remove the backing from the other side of the tape and gently push the motor on top of it with the rotating part of the motor hanging off the back end of the toothbrush. This will allow the motor to spin without touching the tape. Next, push the watch battery, positive side up, onto the tape, making sure that the red wire is underneath the battery. Finally, turn on your EcoBot by pressing the black wire onto the battery, using a piece of foam tape on top. Step 2. Observe your EcoBot. Observe what your EcoBot can do and how it moves. Since the EcoBot is an autonomous robot, or one that moves on its own, consider how you might control your EcoBot to help you clean up the spill at Bailey Beach. Get started by designing a control area for your EcoBot to do its work. Step 3. Test your EcoBot. Now it's time to put your EcoBot to the test. After you design your plan, start by building the prototype control area on your challenge mat using straws, cardstock, and cups. Once your design is built, place your EcoBot in the containment area on the challenge mat and see what happens. Is your prototype able to navigate your control surface easily? What challenges do you see? How could you make a better control surface? Make final adjustments to your control surface, then let the sweeping begin. Add a tablespoon of birdseed or rice to the control area to simulate the spill. Review the instructions in your engineering notebook for part three of the experiment before turning on your EcoBot. Set the timer for two minutes and see how much of the spill your EcoBot can displace by sweeping away the rice or birdseed. After your test, it's time for the real challenge. Use the equation in your engineer's notebook to see how well your control surface stacks up against others. Who had the best results? Step 4. Build a better future. Now it's time to take your new skills and put them to the test in the real world. How can you step up as a citizen scientist and make a difference? Find a local cleanup project in your community or solve a community issue by engineering a new solution. Learn more about how 4-Hers are leading the way in science, engineering, and technology at www.4-h.org slash NYSD.